Once again, I want to take this moment to welcome all our viewers across the globe and to thank God for the gift of life and also the opportunity to share the Word of God together. But before we do that, I want to once again to introduce myself. My name, Right Reverend Dr. Huntington Mutebi, the Assistant Bishop of the Diocese of Kampala. Let us pray. Father God, once again, we thank you very much for this moment. And we thank you for the gift of life and the many blessings received from you, Lord. We want to thank you, Father, on top of every single blessing. We thank you for the gift of your Son, Jesus Christ, the risen Savior. Because of him, we can still live. So I pray that, Lord, as I speak to your children, through me you speak to all of us and bless us in Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. So, brothers and sisters, I once again welcome you and also thank God for this opportunity. This season, we, want, we look at what the risen Savior can do to us or for us, especially during this season when we are down. And we are going to look to continue looking at the life and the testimony of Mary Magdalene. Yesterday, we looked at how when she started, she began the day by weeping. But then she ended the day joyfully telling the disciples, I have seen the Lord. Because Jesus, when you meet the Lord, life changes. You don't, life doesn't stay the same. So today we are going to look at Jesus, the risen Savior, who will calm your fears. Yesterday was weeping, but now it is fear. Let us look at verse 13, according to St. John, chapter 20, verse, verse 13. And they said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, Because they had taken away my Lord, and I don't know where they have laid him. So Mary was distressed and very, very fearful. In this life, we go through situations that bring us stress. We go through situations that make us fearful. So Mary was overwhelmed with sorrow. She was overwhelmed with sadness and fear. And people today live lives filled with fear. We fear many things. We fear death. Yet we have an appointment with death. Hebrews chapter 9 verse 27 says, It is appointed to die once and thereafter judgment. So there is appointment. Though we fear death, but we cannot run away from death. So we fear judgment. This fear can be taken away if we receive our advocate, Jesus Christ, whom he says in 1 John chapter 1, verse 1, If anybody does sin, we have an advocate to the Father, Jesus Christ, the righteous one. And by his strife, by Sins we, are, we are, sins we are forgiven. So we fear even this pandemic, the COVID-19 pandemic, and we don't know. People fear retirement. It is time, even in this, during this lockdown, I talked to one of my friends that now you can start practicing your retirement and say, no, this is very difficult time. Because in my retirement, I will be free to drive to my farm, but now I cannot. So people are very fearful. But when you meet the risen Lord, he can calm your fear. So because of his victory over death, Jesus can help you get rid of your fears. Jesus will come and tame your fears. He did this to Mary Magdalene. He sits on the mountains 
and they melt. He ceases to be. The mountain can cease to be when Jesus sits on the mountain because nothing is impossible with him. So Mary's fear and weeping were turned into joy. In Psalm 30 verse 5 says, Tears may follow in the night, but joy comes in the morning. So I want to encourage you, brothers and sisters, if you have not known Jesus Christ as Lord, He's the only one who can calm your fears and then turn your weeping, your tears into tears of joy. And then you go and tell people, I have seen the Lord like Mary did as we saw yesterday. May the Almighty God bless you. Thank you very much.